So wisdom is the capacity to choose your well-being. And you can see how there's different levels of it because the deeper your wisdom goes, the more you recognize how connected your well-being is to things that you thought were previously unconnected. You may not notice that. You may not see that. And so at a lower level of maturity of wisdom, which you're more concerned with, making sure that my physical body is taken care of, making sure that my mental health is fine, making sure that I do this, that, and the other, I've got a good partner because I know that that works, etc., etc., etc. Take care of yourself. It's good. You need to take care of yourself. As your wisdom deepens, you recognize that the well-being of others is intimately connected to your well-being. My well-being is others' well-being. So there's a whole raft of things that we're unaware of that contribute to our well-being. Wisdom, as it grows, means that we become more connected to that knowledge. And it's not academic knowledge. It can be rendered in words, but wisdom isn't stuff that you talk about. It's the stuff that leads to what you can talk about. And so again, this is why it's easy to confuse someone who has intelligence with someone who has wisdom. And this is why the, the spiritual path is littered with fake gurus, disenchanted followers and abuse and everything else is because people who talk a good game can appear as if they have wisdom. So wisdom, I'm not saying I have the definition, but one way to think of it is our capacity to choose well. Choose well means choose your growth and well-being. 